I think we are live here. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful afternoon. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys my workflow using CapAttack Monolith MC5. Okay, MC5. So this grinder, I've been waiting for about five months now. Hold on a second here. Hold on a second here. I got some all kinds of noises going on. Hold on a second. Hold on. Okay. Okay, I'm back, guys. I'm back here. By the way, if you're just joining us from uh, for the first time, uh, welcome to daily live streaming. Okay. I don't do a lot of edit video in this channel. Uh, it's mostly 99% live streaming. So this is my uh, small office. Actually, I have a business. Um, I have an actual business, by the way, okay? I have an actual business. I, I fix computers for a living, so. And then I turn my one room into kind of like coffee. Coffee, I, I don't want to say studio. It's more like coffee desk, all right? So this is actually my desk. Yeah, coffee desk. Uh, you know, it, it's all I need here, okay? I got a couple of grinders behind me, got a couple of machines. Yeah, so I can make some content with with you guys, hang out with you afternoons and make some delicious coffee. So today I'm going to make coffee with a Say coffee. Say is uh, known for their light roast. Okay, it, if this grinder can do well on Say, most likely you're going to do just fine. All right, just fine. So this is Say coffee, let's see, coming from Burundi. Tasting notes, again, black tea, purple fruits, and baking spice, all right? Baking spice. What else? And I'm gonna be using, again, MC5, my grind size. I'm gonna set at more like 8.8 .8 clicks on MC5. Okay, I have 8.8 .8 clicks. And I already measured out 18 gram here. And I got some couple of tools, okay? Uh, I have an OCD. I got some uh, cups from, this is an optional Versa cup. Again, as you guys, if you are following me for a long time, as you guys know, I love gadgets, okay? I love gadgets, you know, I mean, that's, it's, that's not secret. I, I do love gadgets, I, I do love play with it. It's gonna make your coffee better? No, answer is no, guys. Okay, only thing you need is a decent grinder and then just decent temper you're going to do just fine, all right? You're going to do just fine. So, I mean, do not fixate on, you know, getting the right tools. Again, um, you do not need it, okay? You do not need to get a good tools to get good coffee, okay? And what else? I obviously, the star of today's video is the MC5. You know, let's bring some coffee, okay? By the way, do not, okay? If you're planning on getting uh, high-end grinders, do not drop anything on the base. Okay, I did drop yesterday, all right, I dropped my dosing cup yesterday. Guess what, I have a, li uh, I have a like nick on it, okay? I mean, you can actually see it, all right? You can actually see the little nick there, so, man. But I mean, that's kind of like owning a, I know, someone asked me, what feels, feels like owning a high-end grinder? I feel like you're owning a high-end sports car. Okay, let's put it that way, all right? You feel like you're owning a high-end sports car, which means, I mean, you, you need to take care of it. And sometimes the things happen like this, you know what? I mean, that, you know, it does, you know, it does get, you know, it bothers me, okay? It bothers me, but I mean, that's the part of the owning a machine, all right? Yeah, again, that, that happens. So my uh, option O, Okay, that's also my another grinder from Optional P64. Amazing grinder. Guess what? I have a three nicks on it. So, unfortunately, I, uh, I'm gonna put my tower down whenever I'm gonna grind uh, from now on. Okay, so because just in case if I drop something, no more damage on the bottom. Okay. All right, let's see what else. Yep. I might say you got you got a broken dosing cup last time too. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Anyway, okay, let's go. 
So we're going to do espresso. Let's flip the camera for a second here, folks. Get a better view for you guys. Okay, if you're just joining us, this is kind of like basic workflow here. Okay. Basic workflow. Again, like, like I mentioned, you got a, a little ding on the bottom here. The DK say it's very noticeable. You know what? I mean, I actually, I scrub it down. I file down a little bit. So that's why it was pretty bad yesterday. Okay. Okay, my grind setting is about 8.8 .8 clicks. I got about 16 gram. Uh, MC5 is known for the static, so just make sure to do RDT properly. Okay, so this is really a light roast. Extremely light roast there. As you can see, it takes a while. Takes a while to grind. 18, uh, by the way, so RPM on this grinder is about 120. 120 RPM. So it's really, really uh, low RPM, which means create less heat. Okay, create less heat. I think we are done. Yeah. I'm just gonna take it up again. As you can see, pretty fluffy. Looks very even, by the way. Okay, not a lot of static either. I only did about one squirt of the water. That's it. Let's do some quick prep. I like to use the paper, so. Just gonna add some paper, put some water there. I know, I mean, I do, it, it, there's a lot of steps, okay? The reason why I'm adding a lot of steps, I mean, for, just for fun, all right? Just for fun, guys. You don't need it, okay? But for the, for just having fun here. Okay, I'm just gonna, okay. Just like so. I'm going to do quick distribution. Give it a quick temp. That's it. Man. Uh, grind size. Again, let me show you guys. The grind size is at 8. So again, we, we can go all the way into the 0. Uh, pretty much the 0 there. 8.8 .8 clicks. Looking at the has space, I have a plenty of space to go. So, comes the espresso on MC5, you have a lot of range, guys. All right, here we go. Let's pull the shot here. I'm gonna flush out the group head first. Let's lock it in. Uh, let's do like one to like two, 2.5 ratio. Let's zoom in. Man, it's going to be a turbo shot, guys. Let's do turbo. Thirteen gram and about fifty-four gram. Fifty-four sec. Uh, fifty-four gram, about thirteen seconds. <clears throat> so we did the turbo shot here. Yeah, we just did a turbo shot there. You know what? Uh, let's shrink this first, and then let's dial it in one more time. Okay, let's dial it in one more time after that. Okay, wait. 
again, using uh, the paper, the puck paper, uh, the increasing in flow rate. Okay, so it's gonna be, I don't know, because I do enjoy turbo shots. It's about 13 seconds. I mean, that's what you want for a turbo shot. So you want to, you know, about between 10 and, you know, 10 and 15 seconds, you're gonna go all the way up to like 15, uh, about 50 gram, 45 to 50 gram there, so yeah. So this is a copy from Say. Uh, tasting note is uh, black, uh, black tea, purple fruits, and also uh, baking spice. Oh man, this smell is amazing. Here you go, cheers. Wow. This is... Okay, you think it's gonna be very uh, sour, how fast that was? I mean, it's great, okay, very light. Yeah, very balanced shot as well, it's not bad. Man, it's not bad. Uh, Nick said between 10 and 15 seems a little fast for turbo. Uh, maybe you might be right, Nick, I think around 20. But, I mean, this shot is, is fantastic. Okay, so, uh, let's pull the shot one more time. And there, uh, my temperature, again, Nick asked me what's the temperature. I set it 200 Fahrenheit there. All right, I set it 200 Fahrenheit. Uh, so right now I'm at 8, 8.8. Uh, .8. Uh, let's pull one more shot with, let's go low, okay. You saw how fast I was, about 13 seconds, around 50 gram, okay. So I want to cut that. So I want to cut the yield around 40 gram. I'm going to extend the extraction time, okay. Extraction time there. So, uh, so I want to be like 25 seconds and up. Uh, between 25 and up, I want to be around 40 gram. So kind of like one to two. Okay, so and then Nick said go up to 204. Okay, for a little, for lighter, uh, little lighter roast there. About 10 second bloom, go much finer. Interesting. I mean, oh yeah, so for, for that for the turbo shot, yes, definitely. So you want to have that extended. But meantime, so let's do this time, uh, let's do just straight espresso, no paper, just straight up, okay? Uh, let's do one to two ratio there. Let's see what kind of tasting notes we're gonna get from Say Coffee. All right. Again, if you are just joining us for the first time, the welcome to live streaming. Yeah, welcome. So we're gonna do another 18. By the way, I'll just make sure to join the live chat as well. Okay, just you know, come come in and hang out with us. You know, you know, a lot of you are watching, but yeah, it's about, it's about 30 people watching right now. Okay. Yeah hanging out with us this afternoon here. Okay, hold on. So we're gonna go 18 gram. You know what, I think I'm gonna do without RDT. Okay, let's find out how much static we're gonna get. All right, yeah, I'm very curious. Okay, so let's go. Yeah, let's go, you know, without the RDT on, on MC5 here. Because I know MC, the man of the, uh, the cap tag is known for the static, so. So right now I'm at 8.8. Uh, .8. Goodness, so I need to go. Seven. Let's see, uh, eight, maybe seven, maybe six. Okay, let's go down to six, all right? So six is Yeah, I mean, six should be good. Okay, we're gonna go without the RDT. Okay, no, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna put any water drops. Okay, let's find out how much static we're gonna get. But meantime, let's take a look at your live chat comment there. DK said, Brian said, you can't mess up the shot with the short converse. Uh, trust me, you can mess up. Okay, you can mess up the shot, all right. I mean, as long as if you are close enough, yes, um, you cannot mess up, but yeah, you know what, I did, I did mess up a few times. All right, still going, still going here. 
again, so such low RPM, very slow. That's why uh, the, it's not going to heat up the beans. And, but in contrary, uh, EK43 are extremely powerful, really fast RPM. But the birds are 98 millimeter, they're so fast, so it doesn't have time to get heat up. Okay. Again, as you can see, there's no static, okay? Not a lot of static there either. And especially, we are doing the really light roast too. I wonder if you are doing the, you know, medium to dark roast. It might be different, but yeah. Okay, so we're going to do one more time here. I'm not going to do paper. I'm just going to go straight up. And this time, I'm not going to even distribute either. I'm just going to temp it. Okay, I'm just going to temp it directly. Oops. I'm, I'm just going to temp it directly. Man, I look, look at the, the head space. So we went from 8.8, almost 9. We go down to 6. So we are doing the light roast. It's about 18 gram shot. Man, I don't know. Okay. I, I hope we're going to get a decent shot out of it. Get our fingers crossed. I'm going to add my puck screen. Again, so this is such a light roast. There we go. Hold on, I'm gonna... Real light roast there. I'm trying to shift for about 40 gram there. Okay, about 24 seconds, around 40, uh, 41, almost 42 gram. As you guys noticed, with a lighter roast, you're not going to see a lot of crema. Okay, you're not going to see a lot of crema there. So. All right, here we go. Again, not a whole lot of crema, but it should be an interesting shot. It comes to time and year. I mean, I feel like we are right on it. I can, uh, it's gonna be, uh, I can go dialed in a little finer, but so this is, you know, I think this is good as good. Okay. Uh, this coffee is about a about month old, okay? But say coffee recommend. I mean, sometimes they you know they want to wait till like two months, okay. I mean minimum minimum two weeks, okay minimum two weeks there. Here we go. Cheers. Man, I can uh, taste all the the brightness from the fruit. The aftertaste is like baking spice. Very smooth. Man, it's pretty good, I have to say. I mean, this is really well done, okay? I mean, even, I have this mediocre turbo shot here. Okay, mediocre turbo shot, still quite tasty. Okay, so this uh, coffee's been cooled down for a little bit, so, so let's try, okay, let's try this. So this is the wannabe turbo shot. Man. What a completely different tasting notes. You know what? I, I, I wish you guys are here. Okay. I wish you guys are here. I mean, experience what I'm experiencing in uh, with shuriken birds. Am I hyping it up? Uh, I'm not a big hype guy. Okay. I'm not a big hype, hype guy. But based on these two shots, based on that, uh, say coffee. Uh, Elaine said blind taste. Yes, I'm trying to walk on some uh, some uh, some people to come here and do some blind uh, taste with me. So 
Yeah, they're both good. Okay, hold on a second here. Uh, Nick said, can you compare EK43 or DF64 with the MPs? Uh, yeah, uh, yes, well, uh, we're going to do that, okay? So, uh, so I'm going to compare with the niche. I mean, that's definitely, that's must. Niche versus the uh, uh, MC5. Because the niche is a 63 uh, millimeter Mazer burst. And then we got the obviously MC5 is a 70, uh, 71 millimeter. Okay, 71 millimeter shuriken burst. So there are two different bursts. And we're going to be comparing that one uh, side by side. And also I have a 68 millimeter uh, conical burst as well <clears throat> sitting in the other room. So I'm going to bring it up next week. So 68 versus 71. And uh, what else we got here? Uh, we have the obviously uh, various hand grinder like K plus. That's also a conical style. And then we have a, a fellow Opus. Okay, 48 millimeter conical. So that's great entry level. All right. And then also we can compare that with even uh, 64 millimeter uh, P64 as well. Okay. 6 C uh, uh, P64. So my plan is a uh, coming week, entire week, starting Monday, I'm going to dedicate entire week for conical. So that's the plan. Plan may change last minute, but we're going to start with all conical next week. And then after that, let's do some comparison. And the end of next week, you know, we feel comfortable with the conical. And then maybe the next Friday about this time, Let's put that grinder to test, all right? So we can compare that with the EK43, obviously P64. Okay, let's not forget DF83. Okay, I have DF83 has a, a, a 83 millimeter SSP burst in it, okay? SSP burst. So it should be a really good comparison. And then obviously we're going to compare that with, you know, hand grinder as well. So it should be a lot of fun. And then we have, oh, let's see here, we have Azim asked me, are you looking into EG1 as well? Man, so EG1, I, I don't know. I mean, they're way, way out of my budget. Okay, so this grinder was pushing it. Okay, I had, that, I, mean, I had to push myself to get this one. All right. So answer is maybe, maybe. Uh, definitely not P100, okay? So I got the, so pretty much last year, I need to decide which one, P100 versus MC5, okay? So I went with the MC5 because I have a lot of, a lot of flat bird grinders here at the coffee desk, but I have no big conical. So, so that's, that's the reason I went with the conical. And then, so I'm, I'm, really, I'm really looking forward to compare with uh, EK and uh, MC5 for the filter coffee as well, the filter coffee too. So, so you should be very interesting, I interesting match coming up. And what else? Uh, so today is espresso so far. I'm, again, I'm pretty pleased with it. So coffee's been cooled down for a while. Cheers. So this is a uh, just straight up espresso shot from MC5 here. Yeah, smooth, bright. Now I can taste the baking spice, black tea, definitely. So this one is turbo shot earlier. Uh, Nick, Nick thinks that you know this is a little fast, but man. I think Nick, I think you're right, man. I think I'm gonna wait even longer. I mean, this even even better. Let's put it that way. This shot's gonna be even better. So, yeah, I think I think that's the that's great. That's fantastic. Okay, so Nick say I'm waiting for Trin to make the F100, which means uh, they want. Uh, you know what? You might. You never know because the uh, train's been making all kinds of grinder lately, so I won't be surprised they're gonna come up with a, a 98 millimeter. Okay, I won't be surprised they're gonna come up with a 98. Yeah, that, that's for sure. Okay, folks, I think we are good. 
So I'm really looking forward to, okay, I'm really looking forward to comparing it uh, starting next week. Uh, we're gonna have some fun. Again, so we're gonna start with definitely niche versus uh, MC5. So niche is about $600 range there. So $600 grinder versus MC5, you're looking around $3,000 range. It's uh, five times more, okay? So let's find out. It's gonna be five times better. This niche is gonna be five times better. I don't know. So it should be really good contest. I don't wanna say contest. I don't wanna say better, okay? I mean, we are talking about different. Okay, we are talking about different coffee because I think that's something we need to start realize. It's, there's no, every grinders are different. Okay? It's not about being better. So, I mean, if you can find the right tasting note from, let's say, niche grinder over MC5, the niche is grinder for you. I mean, you have no reason to get MC5, okay? But if you're a coffee hobbyist, I mean, that's a different story, okay? Just like you're collecting cars, right? I know some of you out there collecting fancy cars. And I mean, that's become a, you know, you have become a collector, okay? And I mean, I, mean, that, I mean, that's what happens because you only use one grinder at a time, folks. You only use one grinder at a time, so there's no point you're gonna have like three or four. I mean, fortunately, you know, I have the luxury to play with other grinders, but again, uh, just spend some time. I think we talked about this yesterday as well. Uh, get a good coffee, guys. Get a good coffee, okay? Get a good coffee, a capable grinder, okay? That's it. What's a capable grinder? You know what? I mean, if you have a proper smart grinder, I think that's pretty capable as well, all right? And it comes to machine, capable machine. You know what? Sometimes I can put some amazing chef from my Brewster Express, okay? And then what else? You know, it's not a bad idea. So next week, let's compare. I know you guys are going to laugh. Uh, Bravo built-in grinder. That's conical, that's 40, I believe, I believe it's about 41 millimeter. 40 or 41 millimeter conical, okay? And then let's compare that to MC5 too. Yeah, let's do that. Should be a lot of fun, all right? It's a lot of fun there. Okay, hold on a second here. We have a harp mud. I have two less expensive grinder, but I would rather have than one quickly switch between espresso and drip. Okay. Yeah, because it's nice to have two, one for the uh, filter and one for the espresso. And uh, Colin asked me, uh, uh, interested to see how 64H, yep, uh, we're gonna do that as well. Uh, you know what, better yet, let's go with uh, 84 millimeter HU, okay. Let's see. And the light roast or medium to make it remotely fit. Oh, yeah, so the Nick asked me, with the light roast, I think it's gonna be medium. Medium to dark roast. Uh, for, you know what, so let's, let's give Bravo a fighting chance. So I have this medium roast from Cafe Russo, I think. Uh, great tasting notes, milk chocolate, caramel, and planling. Okay, so let's do that next week. So it's gonna be give you a fighting chance for the Bravo. All right. Anyway, I hope you guys, have, uh, I'm gonna big shout out to, my wife is here right now, she's watching. I'm gonna shout out to my wife. Let's see here, what else? I think we are good for this afternoon, folks. Okay. Again, uh, make sure to join the live chat next time, all right? Make sure to join the live chat, hang out with us. And that's what we do. What we do, I mean, kind of most of the days. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, let's not forget Baria, too. Thank you for reminding me, uh, uh, Matt. Yeah, uh, so also we're going to compare with the Baria as well. Yeah, let's do that, too. Yeah, I forgot the Baria. So, Baria, we do have SD40. So, we got the also SD40. So, we, we're going we're gonna to play with the plenty of conical birds next week, okay? And then let's compare that with MC5 every single day, okay? We're gonna start with the niche versus MC5. 
And then we go also we're going to compare that with the uh, Bravo built-in grinder next day with MC5 Baria and then we have a uh, yeah we got some fun plan for you. I must say big fan of SD40. Okay guys, make sure press thumbs up on this video and I'm going to see you guys next time.